Hi everyone and welcome to your Studio Pilates mat work program. No equipment needed today, so just your body and a mat. Let's get started. We'll begin with an exercise called Hundreds Prep. This works through abdominal muscles. You'll be lying down on your mat with your legs in tabletop and your fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. Spine imprinted, T-zone on nice and tight. We're gonna exhale, curl up, reach the hands past the hips and extend the legs towards the ceiling. And then inhale, bend the knees and return the fingertips towards the ceiling. Amazing, great start guys. Let's repeat that again. So exhale to curl up and reach and inhale to bend and return. Good, awesome. When you curl up guys, make sure your shoulders aren't shrugging or your neck's not pointing forward. So shoulders down and back, head just in a nice position, chin tucked, using your abs to curl you off as high as you can. Good, amazing guys. Make sure your ribs are staying drawn down towards your hips so that your back doesn't arch or your tummy doesn't bold. Beautiful. Now if you want to make this a little harder, you can extend those legs a little longer, further towards the floor and further away from your body. Or alternatively, to make it easier, you can just shoot them straight up towards the ceiling as you curl. Just make sure that your bottom doesn't lift as you do that, because that'll round your back and it won't work your abs as effectively. Good guys, doing really well here. Make sure you use your breath to really accentuate that movement. Come up as high as you can. Reach right past your hips. That's it. Good. Abs should be starting to warm up now. It's exactly what you want. Doing well. Exhale, curl and reach. Shoulders down and back. Black, back flat on the mat and abs nice and strong. And slowly lower back down. Good. Awesome work. If your neck is starting to fatigue or feel a little bit tense, you can do a few reps with your head and your shoulders back on the mat. But as soon as you can, lift your head and shoulders back up, curling high and reaching past your hips. Good guys. That way you're gonna get a little bit more through your abs. Nice. Last one, curl up and lower back down. That was a great warm up for our next exercise, hundreds. So you've got three levels for this one, level one, legs in tabletop, level two, legs extended towards the ceiling, and level three, legs extended, lowered, heels squeezed together and toes turned out. So choose your level one, two or three, and let's get started. So you're gonna exhale, curl up, legs into position one, two or three, and then you're gonna start lifting and lowering your arms. So inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Excellent work here, guys. Making sure your ribs are staying connected towards your hips. No arching through the back or doming through the stomach. A nice, firm, deliberate movement with, deliberate movements with your arms. Good. Shoulders are staying drawn down and back lifted up away from the mat, chin tucked in, and eye line looking towards your knees. Excellent work here, guys. Try not to rest. Remember, this is hundreds, so you wanna lift and lower your arms a hundred times. A really good exercise to challenge your abs. Amazing. Let's keep lifting and lowering. Let's keep reaching through the fingers, drawing the shoulders down and back. Abs stay strong. Good. Now let's squeeze those heels together a little bit firmer to involve the inner thighs as well. You're nearly there, guys. Try not to rest, push through. It's just muscle discomfort. Excellent work. So we're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Make sure your bottom's not lifting. Push it down into the mat. Amazing work here, guys. If you feel tempted to rest, Bring your legs back to an easier level, but keep your body lifted, keep your arms moving. We've only got 20 seconds left. Let's keep reaching forward. Right, reach right past your hips, elevate those shoulders, really engaging those abs. Let's do the final five beats. Inhale, two, three, four, and five. Well done, guys. We've got one final ab exercise lying on your back. It's called obliques. You want to separate your knees so that they're sitting directly over the hips. Place your hands behind your head and your elbows out wide. Back imprinted on the mat and T's in are nice and strong. We're going to exhale as you curl up and rotate your body across. Armpit comes towards your opposite hip 
and inhale, bring your body back towards the mat. Let's alternate and rotate to the other side. So exhale, curl up and rotate, and inhale, return the body. Exhale, curl and rotate, and inhale, return. Good, awesome work team. Really important to keep the legs still. They stay in tabletop the entire time. We don't wanna see any movement through the knees where the knees come further towards your chest and bend, or they move away from your body and your back arches and your belly domes. So it's all about your abdominals and through your obliques, through the side of your waist. Use your breath to really help the movement. So as you curl, you wanna exhale. That helps you to curl up a little bit higher and then inhale to come back down. Doing awesome, guys. This is your final abdominal exercise today. So let's make every repetition count. You wanna lift up higher, rotate further, keeping the elbows out wide and the shoulders down and back. That's it. Now, if you're finding this position uncomfortable um, for your shoulders or your neck with your arms, you can extend your arms towards the ceiling and rotate them across with your body. One hand will go inside your leg and the other will go outside of your leg. Still maintaining the same movement with your body, working the abs nice and hard. We've got 20 seconds to go, so let's make that count. Lift up higher, rotate further, keep your bottom down, use those abs. Guys, you're doing so well here. Let's push through and breathe as you go. Exhale, curl and lift, rotate higher. Final one, stick with me guys. Curl up and rest. Woo, that was a tough ab start. Let's now go into some glute exercises. We're going into clam kick out. So be lying on your side for this one. Your underneath arm stretched out long, your head resting down on your upper arm, your knees bent, legs stacked on top of each other, um, and your heels will be in line with your body, your bottom and the rest of your body. You can place your hand in front on the mat for balance or on your top hip to help with your technique. From here, we're gonna T-zone tight, lift your waist up and away from the mat so you've got a small gap. We're gonna T-zone, squeeze the heels together, lift the top knee on an inhale breath. Exhale as you extend that top leg out long. Inhale, return the heels, and exhale, lower the knee. So that's an inhale, lift, exhale, extend. Inhale, return the heels, but keep the knee towards the ceiling and exhale, return the knee towards the bottom knee. Awesome, let's keep going with that breathing and movement. Make sure you're reaching through the toes and extending that leg away from your body, lifting your waist up off the mat and squeezing that top glute. Excellent work here, guys. Squeeze the heels a little bit harder to make sure that glute is working really hard. Good, that's the way, doing well. Really focus on keeping the hips stacked the entire time. You don't want your waist sinking in towards the mat and your hip hitching up towards your armpit. So that's why your top hand on your hip can really help with your technique. So you wanna push that hip away from you, maintain a gap between your waist and the mat, that's it. So the T-zone can be on really strong here to help with that as well. Team, you're doing so well. You should be starting to feel that top bottom cheek work. That's excellent. So reach through the toes, squeeze the glute, lift the leg a little higher if you're after a challenge. Hips stay stacked, you don't want any rocking forward or backward through them. Return the heel and then lower the knee. Good, all right, we've got about four more reps to go. Don't let that re leg rest, you wanna keep it moving. Good. If you're starting to fatigue, just lower your leg when you extend it, but don't stop moving. Final rep, squeeze the heel, lift that knee, shoot that leg out long, stretch it up higher, challenge yourself guys. Return the heel and lower the knee. Let's not rest for long, we're gonna stay here for our next exercise, buttock circles. So we're extending that top leg out long, and now we're gonna start circling that leg. So inhale for a few circles, and exhale for a few circles. Excellent guys. Now this top bottom cheek should be nice and warm at this point because it's worked really hard in that last exercise. So let's keep it moving, let's keep it active and burn, tone and shape those glutes. You're doing really well here. That's the way. So you're just gonna inhale for a few circles, 
and exhale for a few circles. Keeping that waist lifted, remember, you want the hips to stay stacked and there's no rocking through the pelvis, so no moving forward or backward with the hips. It's just this top leg that's moving. Excellent. Knees stay straight, toes stay pointed, reach through the toes. To make it a little harder, you can lift and circle that leg a little higher and a little bit bigger if you can control the movements. Or to make it easier, lower the leg, smaller circles, nice and slow and controlled. But guys, you're all strong. So let's make sure that we can keep that leg straight. Challenge yourself a little bit more by circling that leg nice and big, keeping control, keeping that bottom squeeze, doing really well here. Whew. I can certainly feel my top bottom cheek starting to burn. So stick with me guys, we're in this together. We can do it. Keep moving that leg. We're in the final 20 seconds of buttock circles. Let's extend that leg higher, reach to the toes, keep the T-zone strong, the bottom squeezed. Don't stop moving now. We've got three, two, one, and rest. Give that bottom a bit of whack, and then let's roll over and do the other side. So we're gonna extend the underneath arm out long, bodies in one straight line with the shoulders, the bottom, and the heels all in that straight line. Knees bent, legs stacked on top of each other. Choose your option of where you want your hand in front to balance you or on your hip to help with your technique. We're gonna squeeze the heels together, lift that top knee on an exhale breath. You're gonna extend that leg out long, return the heel, and then lower it back down. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale, connect those heels, knee to the ceiling, and then exhale, lower the knee back down. Good guys, excellent job. Now this top bottom cheek that's working will already be warm from stabilizing you on the first side. So it might feel a little bit harder, but it's good that it's warm because it'll be working well. Good team. Remember you want your hips to remain stacked. You want your waist to stay lifted up off that mat. No sagging through or hitching of the hip. You're gonna get the most out of this exercise if the um, bottom is squeezed and the waist is lifted. Good, well done. As you extend that top leg, make sure that the knee's not pointing up towards the ceiling because you're likely to tilt your top hip back. So you want your hips stacked, you want your knee facing forward. You can extend that leg up higher, but just make sure that your knee's not turning towards the ceiling because you're likely to rock your hips backwards. Good team. Make sure you're challenging yourself. You're capable of it, you can do it. Reach through the toes as you extend that leg. Squeeze that top bottom cheek. That's it. Now just relax through the upper body. Neck and shoulders should be relaxed. Keep breathing as you go. This exercise is all about the buttocks. The T-zone is always on strong just to keep your spine supported and your body in a good position. You've got 20 seconds remaining, team. Let's not stop moving. We can do it. So inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale, connect the heels, knee to the ceiling, and then lower that top knee down. Excellent. Try not to stop at any point throughout this exercise. You wanna keep that leg moving and the bottom working really hard. Nice, team. Hips stay stacked, waist stays lifted, and rest. Well done. Extend that top leg out long. We're gonna go into buttock circles. All right, guys, let's stretch it out, point through the toes, and inhale for a few circles, and exhale for a few circles. Just moving at your own pace here, making sure those hips aren't rocking back and forth, making sure your T-zone's staying on strong, your knee stays straight but unlocked. No hyperextension through the knee. And point through the toes. Excellent work, guys. You'll be feeling your bottom burn at this point. That's amazing. It means you've worked really hard. You should be really satisfied and feel great. That's it. So shoulders down and back. No tension through the neck or the shoulders. Squeeze the glutes. Lift that leg. If you'd like to make it harder, you can lift the leg higher and do bigger circles quickly, but keeping the hips stacked, you don't want any movement through the pelvis. Alternatively, to make it easier, 
Smaller circles, slower, down a little bit lower. But guys, you're doing so well. You can do it, challenge yourself here. That's it. Big circles, nice and high, relax through the shoulders, waist stays lifted and bottom stays squeezed and engaged. Fantastic team. You've done so well so far. Now's not the time to rest. Keep that leg moving, keep the waist lifted. Excellent job. Relax the head down onto your upper arm. No tension through there. Oof, that glute is burning. Good, there's the 20 second mark guys. You've not got long to go. This is your final 20 seconds of this exercise, so don't rest. Stretch through the toes, reaching forward and away from your body. And five, four, three, two, and one. Well done guys, that was excellent. We're gonna roll over onto our stomach now to do an exercise called grasshopper. So with this exercise, you wanna bend your elbows out to the side. Your forehead is gonna be resting down on the backs of your hands. Your legs extended long. Just relax down on the mat behind you and about hip width apart. T-zone tight, squeeze the glutes. We're going to lift the legs and bend the knees and then extend them out long. Don't let the legs rest on the floor. Alternate. So now you're gonna lift the other leg on top and then extend out long. So every time you bend those knees, a different leg is gonna be on top. So you're swapping constantly. That's it guys. Squeeze through the glutes and the backs of your legs to lift them up away from the mat and to bend them in towards your bottom. That's it. So as you bend, it's an exhale breath. As you extend, it's an inhale. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Awesome work, team. Make sure that you're not arching through your back and sinking your stomach in towards the mat. So you wanna tuck your pelvis under and imagine like there's a small row of ants crawling underneath your stomach and you don't wanna touch them. That's it. Shoulders down and back, neck long, and head can be resting down on your, uh, on your hands. That's it team, stretch through the toes, reach the legs up a little higher for a challenge, squeezing the glutes, not resting at any point here guys. That's the way, doing really well. You should be feeling your bottom burn, the backs of your thighs, so into your hamstrings should be nice and active too. You've only got 20 seconds remaining. Try not to rest, let's lift the legs higher. That's it. Stretch through the toes, bending the heels right back towards your bottom. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, guys. We're going straight into an exercise called flight. This works the backs of your arms and your shoulders. So you can stay lying on your belly. Extend the legs, uh, extend the arms out beside your body. Shoulders down and back, T-zone hard. You're gonna lift your shoulders up away from the mat, lifting your arms up as well. Then we're gonna rotate the palms down to the floor, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, up to the ceiling. So we're gonna inhale for a few rotations and exhale for a few rotations. Making sure that you're getting a big rotation. The bigger the rotation, the more effective this exercise is gonna be. You don't wanna just flip your palms up and down. You won't feel it as much. If you're doing it, you wanna make it count. That's it, so big squeeze of the shoulders down and back and big rotation of the palms up and down. That's it. Let's make sure there's no arching through the back. So you wanna tuck the pubic bone in towards the mat and tuck the pelvis under, relaxing through the legs. That's it. Good work, guys. This is one of those exercises that looks easy to perform, but when you're doing it, it's really effective and it really burns. And the fantastic part about it is that you don't need any equipment. You can just simply jump on the floor and really work and tone the triceps and the shoulders. You're doing really well, guys. So breathing at your own pace. Inhale for a few rotations. Exhale for a few rotations. That's it. Right, we've got 20 seconds left. So lifting the arms up away from the mat, 
Try not to let them sink down. Big rotations of the arms, up and down and up and down. Good, final five seconds. Let's make it count, shoulders back and down. T-zone on, pelvis tucked and rest. Well done guys. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees for our final exercise, tricep circles. So hands will be um, underneath your shoulders and knees under your feet. This is level one with your knees down and level two is with your toes tucked under and your knees off the mat. I'm gonna do level one, but for those who are feeling ambitious and strong, go for it, do level two. We're gonna bend the elbows in towards the knees, bottom goes back to the heels. Then we're gonna transfer our weight forward, chest or shoulders come past the fingertips, circling the body right round and back to your four point kneeling position. Let's do that again. So inhale, bend, elbows back to knees. Exhale, as you transfer your weight forward, circling right round and back to a four point kneeling. Good guys, that's it. Making sure that your elbows are staying down and pointing towards your knees. That way you're really targeting your triceps. Good, awesome work guys. Make sure that your back isn't sagging through, either through the top or the bottom. You wanna keep your shoulders lifted. You wanna keep your T-zone strong. That way your spine's gonna stay in a great position and you're really gonna work those triceps hard. Good guys, wonderful work. Making sure that all the weight is staying in your hands. You're not putting too much weight through your knees. That's what, that way you're really gonna target the triceps, which is the target muscle of this exercise. Doing really well. Try not to rest, so no pausing at any point throughout this movement. Keep the motion going, you're doing so well. Bend, elbows back to your knees, slowly transfer the weight forward, abs on strong, tuck that pelvis under. Doing well, guys. Remember, for those that are feeling ambitious, you can lift your knees off, tuck your toes under. We only have 15 seconds left. So if you're anyway inclined to give it a go, now's your time. Good, guys. Let's do it. Ready? Bend the elbows, transfer the weight forward, and circle back up. Nice, well done. And that concludes your workout. We're gonna cool down with a little glute stretch. So you're gonna come down onto your back on the mat. Crossing one ankle over onto your opposite knee, pushing that knee away from you. If you feel a stretch through your glutes in this position, that's great, just hold it here. Gently push that knee away from you. Or if you'd like to increase the stretch even further, place one hand between your leg, the other around the back of your leg, and just gently pull your knee in towards your chest, feeling that glute stretch. It worked really hard today, especially through that clam series. So it's earned a nice stretch. Good, so inhale T-zone, exhale, pull the knee closer towards your chest and push the um, stretching glute's knee away from you. So just pushing it away just like that. That's it team, doing really well. One final breath, inhale T-zone, exhale and pull that leg closer towards you, pushing the other knee away from you and rest. Nice. Let's swap over and stretch out the other bottom cheek. So crossing the ankle over onto your knee, pushing the knee away from you. If you feel that stretch there, just hold it, breathing in and out. Or if you want to increase the stretch a little further, we're gonna place your um, hand in between your leg and on the back of your thigh, other one on the other back of your thigh, interlacing your fingers and gently pulling your knee towards your chest. You can push that other knee away from you as well to further intensify. That's it. So inhale T-zone, exhale, drawing that leg closer towards you. Such a great glute stretch. Feels fantastic. Um, even just throughout the day, if you're feeling a little bit tight through your back or your hips or your bottom, it's a good one to just jump on the floor and release all those muscles. That's it, let's do one final breath. Inhale T-zone. Exhale, slowly drawing that leg towards your chest and then rest. Well, that concludes your workout today, guys. Fantastic job. See you soon.